Well, we start tonight with millions of PG&E customers facing a rate increase. It all comes after state regulators released two rate proposals for PG&E just this week. ABC 10's Alicia Machado is live in the studio tonight with more on what exactly this means for customers. Well, Chris, Laura, Northern California residents could see their power bill increase. How much is still unclear, but a consumer advocacy group we spoke with estimates customers could see a bill increase of up to $336 per year. California utility regulators are considering higher rates for PG&E customers. In a statement to ABC 10, PG&E says they would use the funds to further reduce wildfire risk, improve safety and climate resiliency, and support the continued growth of clean energy. PG&E's four-year budget proposed to the California Public Utilities Commission initially called for a rate increase that would boost its revenue by 26 percent. But two proposals released by the CPUC would increase revenue by up to half that. One proposal at 13 percent and a second at 9 percent. PG&E asked for more revenue to help fund a plan to bury 2,100 miles of power lines to prevent wildfires. Numerous wildfires have been sparked by PG&E power lines, including the 2018 campfire that killed 85 people. PG&E argues putting lines underground greatly reduces wildfire risk, but consumer advocates say it is expensive and takes time. Plans proposed by the CPUC would put a portion of the lines underground and install covered conductor on the rest. Still, consumer advocacy group the Utility Reform Network, also known as TURN, says the rate increases are too high. Enough is enough. There should not be rate increases above cost of inflation. ABC 10 asked PG&E how the plans will impact your power bill. The company said they are still analyzing the proposals to determine the potential impacts to customers. Turn estimates customers will see an increase of up to $28 per month or more than $300 per year. Executive Director Mark Tony says his group is fighting for a cap on rate increases. We want the legislature and the CPUC to adopt an inflation cap that says you cannot increase monthly bills more than inflation on a yearly basis. The commission is scheduled to consider the two proposals at a November 2nd meeting. The public can send in their thoughts to the commission through a dedicated public comment section. We'll have more information on our website, abc10.com. Alicia, thank you. We'll have more on this story as well coming up tonight at 11.